Hey, this is Will Bowen with Performance Analytics. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how easy it is to record videos for Hit Analyzer. Hit Analyzer really only has a few camera requirements you'll need to know before you start analyzing videos. The first is you need to ensure you have your phone or your tablet oriented correctly before recording. Hit Analyzer will only accept videos for analysis which have been recorded in landscape mode and not portrait meaning any videos you make will need to have been captured with your device turned sideways and not straight up and down. The second is you will want to ensure your video has been recorded at a minimum resolution of 720p and with a frame rate of at least 120 frames per second. Now, you can record at higher resolutions and frame rates if your device is capable of recording at those levels, but you'll need to have the minimum of at least 720p and 120fps. The higher quality resolution and frame rate will give slightly more accurate metrics, but the difference in these will be somewhat arbitrary. If you're not sure what resolution and frame rate your device is currently set to record at, you can check this by navigating to settings and then scrolling down to camera. Here you'll be able to adjust on the video recording settings yourself. The good thing is, is if you're having trouble locating this menu on your phone, we've made it pretty easy for you as a user and allow you to record inside the app itself. Here you will find a drop down menu with a list of acceptable video recording settings your device supports for HIT Analyzer analysis. If you want to check what settings the HIT Analyzer app will accept for your particular device, you can always look at the table on our website at www.pasoftware.us. Setting up your device to record videos for a HIT Analyzer is very straightforward. All you need to do is stand at the center of home plate and either walk off or measure 10 feet to either side. Then you'll want to move to about 5 feet in front of the plate. The reason we want you to have your device in front of the hitter is you will want them to be in one of the outer thirds of the video image. This is very important as once the ball is hit, it will allow the ball to be in the frame of view for as long as possible, meaning our tracking algorithms will get more chances at capturing more data points to make better metric calculations. So if you were to stand directly beside them, for instance, and then the batted ball would only be in the video image for maybe one or two frames. And that just really isn't enough data for us to make any sort of accurate measurements. You can either hold your device in your hand or mount it to a tripod when recording. It doesn't really matter. Just regardless of whatever you choose to do, be sure to try and keep the camera as still as possible as any extra movement will cause the analysis to run longer. When it comes to the recording environment, you want to make sure you have good contrast between the ball and the background the batter is hitting against. That means you want to have plenty of light which will help to illuminate the ball in the video. Being outside with natural lighting is obviously the best, but if you've got strong enough indoor lights at your facility, then we found those to work just as well. In this image, you can see the ball on the tee isn't necessarily brand new, but stands out pretty well against the darker backdrop. Also, you want to make sure that there isn't a lot of movement going on, as this will make it harder on al the algorithms to track the hit. Sometimes this is difficult to achieve, especially in a cage setting where there may be multiple batters, but try to manage it the best you can. Here, for example, you can see an individual running across the background, and had we used this video to do an actual analysis, there would have been a chance that we could have captured a false positive. Once you figure these things out, you're now ready to record. The great thing is, is you have a couple of options to play with when using Hit Analyzer. You can either handhold the device or attach it to a tripod. We recommend using a tripod as this will reduce the shakiness of holding it in your hand. The results will be affected slightly if you hold it in your hand, but the differences are generally minimal if the movement isn't too bad. A great thing about HIT Analyzer is it can work in both a live BP setting or when working from a T. If you do plan on hitting from a T, you'll just want to make sure you have T mode turned on. In this example, you can see an individual is recording the hitter with their phone mounted to a tripod and the batter hitting from a T. In the second example, the individual recording is now hand holding the device. You may have also noticed that they also switch sides and are now on the back side of the hitter and not necessarily facing them like they were before. Hit Analyzer has the ability to work from both sides of the plate, so you aren't limited to having the batter to just one side. 
This allows you as the recorder to be able to get a face-on look at mechanics of both the left and right-handed batter without having to sacrifice metrics. Just make sure you have the app settings correct for batter screen side before starting the analysis. We've gotten a lot of feedback from our users saying they love the app, but are pretty nervous about being so close to the hitter. Of course, we want you to be as safe as possible when using our products and don't want to put you or your device in danger. To calm our users, we've done extensive testing to ensure Hit Analyzer has the capability of being able to work through multiple layers of netting and metal caging. Here in both video clips, you can see the individuals recording the videos are safely out of harm's way while still being able to capture the data they want. One last thing I'll need to mention is that Hit Analyzer does not have the ability to record multiple hits from a single video. So you'll want to record each hit as its own individual clip. Each one should probably be about three to five seconds long. They can be longer if you need to be. Just know that the analysis might take a little bit longer to complete. So outside of this video, we've also placed the instructions as tutorial slides within the app. So if you get out to the ballpark and don't have internet access, you can still access the setup instructions uh, through the app. Other than that, if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to us through social media or email on our website. We want to hear from you and make your experience with our products the best it can be. Also, be sure to join our new Reddit page. We will be posting regularly there, providing updates on new features and, and answering questions from the community.